We're following the money this election season with iNews source reporter Jill Castellano. Earlier today, we spoke about Prop 10, which deals with rent control and the push to repeal the gas tax with Prop 6. Jill, welcome. So jumping right in, let's talk about Prop 6. What are the arguments for and against the proposition that would repeal the gas tax increase? Well, Prop 6 is a measure that's trying to repeal the 12 cent gas tax increase that was passed last year. It started right here in San Diego with Carl DeMaio and his radio show. That campaign is saying this tax adds an extra $700 plus uh, of a burden on working families every year, and they can't afford to pay that, and it's not good for them, and so they shouldn't. On the other side, the people who support the gas tax say, actually, we really need this money for for our roads, for our infrastructure. We've already funded $5 billion worth of infrastructure projects around the whole state using this money. And $1 billion of that money is coming here to San Diego. In the long run, they say that's actually better for working families. So there's a campaign for and against Prop 6. Um, how much money do each of these campaigns have and where is it coming from? The money supporting Prop 6, that's about $5 million. That's more of a grassroots effort, small donors from all around the state donating money, though they are getting help from some big uh, candidates running for office who are Republicans, like John Cox, the Republican governor mm -hmm. candidate who's based out of Rancho Santa Fe here in San Diego County. On the other side, the people supporting the excuse me, the people who are opposing the repeal effort have raised $32 million. So they wow. have way more money than the supporters have of this campaign. And, and those, that money is coming from a lot of large donors, a lot of labor unions, construction companies, groups that think this is going to add jobs and that may benefit and get some of those jobs. So moving on to Proposition 10, this would enable local governments to enact rent control. What more can you tell us about this proposition? So. Right, so this does not really enact rent control measures, but it does give local jurisdictions the ability to do that by repealing a law called the Costa Hawkins Rental Housing Act. So talk to me about the campaign for Prop 10 and the funding for this campaign. How much money has this campaign raised? So the Yes campaign, the Yes on Prop 10 campaign, has about $20 million. And what they're saying is that this, um, rent control is really important for people so they don't get displaced from their homes, they don't have to move around so much, and they don't end up homeless. And so that's why they put this on the ballot. But on the other side, there's a lot more money that is trying to oppose this Prop 10. They have about $57 million. And what they're saying is that Prop 10 is actually a disincentive to build more homes. Home builders don't want to build in a market with rent control because they're not going to make as much money, and that could lead to low, less housing affordability in our market overall. So it kind of depends what your take on it is, but in both cases of Prop 10 and Prop 6, the groups supporting the repeal have less money than the groups opposing it. Very interesting. Jill Castellano, iNewsource reporter, thank you for joining us. Thank you.